What looked amazing in the ads, but turned out to be useless, after you bought it. A bike which folded about as compact as one of those cloth camping chairs. I went to the mall, and bought one from the SC non-TV store, warning sign I chose to ignore. It had crappy silicone rubber wheels, like rollerblades but bigger, and was direct drive. The cog slipped on even the slightest of hills, making it less than useless in my city. Also, the seat was uncomfortable, and made it feel like all your weight was on your tailbone. Fired that bugger on Craigslist, and it was gone for almost what I paid within hours. To my surprise, I was honest about why I didn't want it, but I didn't seem to care. I find when I tell people everything that is wrong with stuff I'm selling on CL, that they want it more. It's weird. Like they think you are trying to scam them by telling them not to buy stuff. Moon shoes. I was so excited as a kid to use these, but the first shoes caused a broken ankle. You could barely jump with them in the first place. Convinced my parents to buy a pair at a garage sale. We use them a fair bit, but mostly for exaggerate slow ammo bounces. You know, cause it's the moon. And because we were all well aware that we were gambling with our lives, I think helmets were involved. When I was a kid I remember seeing a commercial about a remote control car that could drive on the walls. Of course I was fucking amazed. Turns out it was a 10 centimeters long car that had a vacuum system built in, made a lot of noise, and was super slow. Yep, and half the time it would just fall off the wall. For me it didn't even stay on the wall for literally one second. The inaudible to humans cap deterrent devices you're supposed to be able to hide in your garden. It was really loud, and piercing and utterly ineffective. I eventually gave up, and got a cat. Now only one cat poos in my flower beds, which is an improvement, and I know what he eats. I think for these it depends on how old you are, and therefore how good your hearing is. The neighbors at my mum's place have one, and it's such an annoying high pitch sound to me, but my mum and the neighbors, 50 plus apparently don't hear it at all. What an awful business model. Humans can't hear it. Humans aged 48 and over with profound high frequency hearing loss. Your neighbors in their 30s will probably throw bricks through your windows in response to our product. But they are not real people yet so fuck em. Showing my age here. One Christmas when I was a kid I was dying to get the electronic football game. Opened up my presents and there it was. Got it set up and plugged it in. And the bastards just vibrated all over the place and fell over. That's first down. Set up all 22 players again for second down. Rattle hum hum splat. Same thing. You can see where this is going. Never played the damn thing again. My parents just moved, and my brother found us tucked away in the shop. It still worked, and still went to goodwill, to disappoint some 21st century child. There were these things called benderoos, that I would often see on TV as a kid. They were these bendy things you could stick together, and build stuff out of, and they looked so cool. My cousin bought a pack of them, and invited me to play with her. The benderoos turned out, to be these pathetic waxy sticks, that you could not really build with. They didn't bend easily, they didn't really stick together, but damn did they make your hands and everything else around sticky. Bender what? Bender who? Hash B E N D A R O O. Anything that is supposed to remove hair permanently. Or restore it permanently. Cries in testosterone. A plastic thingy from Kickstarter with a whole bunch of attachments that promised to dice onions and cut other vegetables in interesting ways. The blades and edge didn't quite align so it never cut all the way through. The colors were cool though. I donated it to a second home shop and feel a bit guilty that someone is going to spend money on it and find that it's a bit crap. At least you got the thing. I backed Polygon's the folding measuring spoons three years ago and they've yet to deliver them. One day, maybe I'll have my spoons. I got the thing, but you get to have hope. Maybe you're the real winner after all. PT paws. That rotary nail file for dogs. It would have taken at least 20 minutes of filing per nail. And no dog is going to hold still that long. What a waste of money. Was it just a Dremel? We have always used those for our dogs. 15 minutes total. Must have been cheaply built I'm assuming. Yeah it's a really awful Dremel. I hate chopping vegetables, so I bought one of those automatic things they show on TV. A whole diced onion in 30 seconds. It mainly just smushed everything, and got clogged up, and took forever to clean. Turns out a knife, and cutting board is easier. The slap chop. I used to see ads for those things all the dang time. Slap my nuts. 
you're going to love my nuts. I have a new treadmill and elliptical I can sell you. But where will you hang clothes? Tooth whitening kit. Comes with some gel and a bullet thing you put in your mouth for a few minutes twice a day. Used it for two weeks with absolutely no change. 30 euros down the drain. Be glad it didn't work. The way how these tooth whitening stuff work is kinda harmful for your teeth. Can you elaborate? When I was like 6 or so there was a commercial for Transformers underwear that came out just before Christmas where the kids wearing them could transform. They were the only thing that I asked for for Christmas that year. I forget what my parents slash Santa got me, but I distinctly remember being disappointed that it wasn't Transformers underwear. Later that day my grandparents showed up, and when I opened the Transformers underwear they got me, it was by far the most excited I had ever or will ever be in my life. I went to the bathroom and put them on. Then went back into the living room and proceeded to try to transform in front of my family while they laughed at me. I remember my grandfather joking maybe you need to plug them in first. That is easily the most let down I have ever been by a commercial. Maybe you need to plug them in first. Grandpa coming through in the clutch with the dad joke. It was a granddad joke. Club Penguin Island. It looked so great in the ads. And I loved the original. But it turned out to be complete crap that was boring and locked out 80% of its content to non-members. Couldn't you like not even play most of the games, if you weren't a member? Estee Lauder Idealist. $60 primer. Smells good though. As a woman who likes facial primers, I'm curious to know why this didn't work, haven't used it before. The ads painted this luminous pore minimizing secret acidic lipid shit and turns out it's pore clogging primer that totally broke me out. It doesn't revitalize or nourish or even moisturize. I love primer, too. But I don't want to pay $60 for it. There was this ham which had commercials specially addressed to kids. It was saying that, if you take a bite you go on an adventure. It also showed the kid, that ate it teleporting into a spaceship, and going on a space adventure. Bought it and, it was just a regular ham. What a fucking letdown. I dunno. Ham sounds really good RN. An ultrasonic dishwasher device. You fill up the sink. Add some liquid soap and turn on the USB powered ultrasonic vibrator device that will peel off any dirt from your dishes. All you need to do is rinse after 5 minutes. Total flop. It turns out we don't have that tech yet. And it would waste too much water. That sounds like the kind of thing that will shake your sink out of your counter. Not with a 5W or so from a USB connection. There are ultrasonic cleaners that work. But they take more power than that. Fushiji. That zero g ball thing. My friend gave me her old one recently. I haven't messed with it other than to move it and accidentally drop it on the floor and think it broke the floor. Everything I bought as a young child from a mail order joke shop. That includes x-ray specs that were not in any way x-ray. If I remember correctly, it had plastic red thread in the eyepieces of a cardboard glasses frame. Handshake electric shock. This was just a wind up thing that bust when your victim pressed a button. It was so bulky and obvious. Mounted in the palm of your hand. OMG. I purchased almost the same Linoop as a kid. There was actually a joke shop in our mall. So I got to see these items before purchase and still managed to make these questionable financial investments. I also got fake bath that was clearly just badly poured silicone. Itching powder prank. Fart flavored candy. And a disappearing ink pen that didn't always disappear. Childhood in the 80s was weird, man. I bought Shopkins for my sister thinking she would play with them. She lost them all in a day. A family friend bought this expensive pack of Sonic figures that had around 10 characters for my little brother. They were designed really well, but my brother managed to break most of them that same night. Still feel kinda bad. You can tell it easily cost over $50. Slap Chop. Tried slicing already sliced apples and it just broke. Fuck you Vince. Fuck yes. I bought one, and it fucking broke on the first slap. Now I've gotta chop things with a knife like a fucking chump. This thing on Amazon for back pain. It's like a mat that you lay on covered in plastic spikes. It's uncomfortable at first, but supposed to increase blood flow to the area. A lot of people swear by it, but it didn't do shit for me. I returned it. I have one of these. Bought a cheap one. Just because I wanted to know how bad it was. Laying on it feels like sunburn. Getting up off it feels like peeling off sunburn. 
but then about 30 seconds after I sit up I get this intense relaxation feeling flow down my whole back. So good. That said, my partner can't stand it and thinks I may be a psychopath for being able to withstand it. Cutting off the circulation to an area of your body will result in a following relaxing flow when the circulation returns. Kind like how taking a good shit makes you feel better. That screen door cover with magnets so you or your dog could go in and out as you please without letting bugs in. Made with the cheapest possible materials that would rip immediately. Shit, I was just saying yesterday that I wanted to get one of those things for my apartment. If you're crafty, you could make your own. Grandpad, bought one for my tech illiterate mom and law for Christmas. Spent three days trying to set it up with tech support before admitting it was a piece of $200 crap. Ended up returning it and customizing an older Android tablet for her. Made it so she couldn't install or buy anything without a password. Hit all the system controls so you can't find them without search. Then hit search. Installed only the few apps she needed and hid and disabled the rest. Made it so I could remotely update and change things from my iPad. Installed a better keyboard for her eyes and we were good to go. Her favorite apps are Bingo and YouTube where she watches nature videos all day. She has a radio installed and an app for local news. Colon. There's a whole market for that. Especially if you incorporate video calling. I've seen lots of tablets geared towards seniors but none of them seem to really nail the concept. The are seen on TVC monkeys. The pictures looked like cool weird sea creatures. In reality brine shrimp. Not nearly as cool as similarly advertised magic rocks. You gotta add semen to them to take off. That big belt you wear around your waist to help you lose weight. I was 17. Spent nearly 6 months savings on that thing. It made your wallet lighter. If op is from the UK, they would have certainly lost some pounds with this thing. A drone. So cool. Fly around and look at stuff from above. Then what? Don't use it. Pain in the ass to carry around and set up. My sister got a really cheap one for her birthday one year that had been previously owned by someone. She was flying it fairly high and I guess it lost connection or something because it just took off into the sky. I'm sure it eventually crash landed somewhere but our house was surrounded by forests so we never saw it again. Might still be hanging out in a tree branch somewhere. My neighbor's kid had that issue. He kept flying it really high and it just kept going. Off into the sunset, or the busy road nearby, who knows. I felt so bad. Helped him look for it, as he had just gotten it that day, but we never found it, and his mom was so angry. Somewhere in some lonely farm an old man is wondering why these flying robots keep dropping onto his roof. He will make an army of them. A grand army. Every mascara ever. Your lashes will look like this. If you were born with them like that. Not to mention, in fine print the ads will say lash inserts used. So basically the models are using false eyelashes to sell mascara. It's quite uncommon to find an Asin on TV product that's actually worth its weight in gold. Except for OxyClean. And the Foreman Grill. Good for waking up to the smell of fresh bacon too. That goddamn sham wow. All the sham with none of the wow. The advert made it seem so great for drying everything. It doesn't dry anything. It just soaks up and spreads water around. Had a girlfriend who used to keep the sham wow around to keep intimate fluids from soaking into the bed clothes. They worked well for that. But that's the only thing I've ever seen them used for. So now whenever someone mentions them, that's all I can think about. That's all I can think about. Pavlov's done.